back against your local radar showing any precipitation and its movement during the past 90 minutes. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. In the headlines, cold, blustery conditions hold on in the east while the west gets ready for more wet weather. But the big story is in the forecast. Is the southeast ready for its first snowstorm of the season? We'll find out, plus we'll look back at the top stories of the week. All this and more just ahead on the Weather Channel. Day for storm. Thunderstorms are heading off here. Over two inches of rain today for the holiday weekend. Weather advisories in Oklahoma and all sorts of snow advisories and heavy snow warnings in the Great Lakes region. Right now, though, in the northeast, areas like Boston and Hartford, you're still looking at mainly rainfall. It's too warm still to see any snow, but this is snow we're seeing back toward Pittsburgh. Two inches of snow is on the ground right now. Heavy snow warnings in Cleveland. We're going to see another four inches, perhaps, before tomorrow morning. And you can see the light snow covering much of Ohio all the way down into West Virginia, heading toward the southeast. Now, our snow amounts here, for the most part, are not going to be that heavy as a whole. Some isolated areas will pick up perhaps as much as six inches. Some places in the south, though, Oklahoma, could see more than six inches of snowfall. Maybe Oklahoma City will have to watch out. This is a large area of light snowfall that has been working its way southeastward. And Oklahoma City, you could see some sizable snows by tomorrow. Let's check out the general pattern here again. Blustery and cold, as Terry mentioned, that system developing in the south. And another Pacific storm poised to move on in. This is enough here all in itself to cause some havoc around San Francisco. Many areas of the Golden State seeing more than their fair share of rain, and it looks like more is on the way. And it does look like that may be somewhat of a persistent pattern as we head through this upcoming work week. Stationary area of low pressure here is just going to continue to sit here and spin. There's actually a bit of a traffic jam in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Nothing seems to want to move, so as this just sits here, well, we also have the jet stream bringing in a lot of energy. It's moving rapidly and it's helping to push one system after another on shore. Now, this go around, it doesn't look like these systems are quite as potent, so we don't think they're going to drop uh, 20 inches of rain on the San Francisco Bay Area, but we do know that it will bring in some more moisture, and we'll have to watch things very, very closely in some of those flood-prone areas and in areas.